Hello there, my name is Mark Barnabas, your data protection pal, and once again, welcome to an eye on privacy where we talk about data protection and cybersecurity news all over the world. And today we're going to cover an article about a unicorn. Yes, a unicorn is somebody that's done well in the market, and we have a unicorn that may be getting into trouble with regards to privacy, and I think this is a lesson for some of us as well. So, what unicorn am I talking about? This unicorn is none other than Lemonade. For those of you who are not familiar with Lemonade, Lemonade is a disruptor in the insure tech industry, insurance tech for short. Now, what is Lemonade all about? Lemonade is a app that helps customers buy their insurance and to make sure they get the best deal from their insurance. And this Lemonade app is able to use uh, a very intelligent AI to determine some of their needs once and even uh, analyze the customers. So what's so wrong about them recently after being uh, escalated to Pinnacle um, early this year in 2021? So, but recently, uh, Lemonade has been flagged and was passed a class action for over collection of data where because of their AI that collects data from the eyes, the voice, the facial, uh, the face, even facial expressions like <clears throat> I don't know. So apparently the app is collecting more data than it should and it might be even processing this data. Although Lemonade says that they do not sell the data but they are processing data beyond the awareness perhaps of their customers and that is really not permissible under many data regulation laws. So this is Lemonade that is in trouble and I guess if you are doing any form of fintech industry that is creating an app that collects a fair bit of data, you need to know that you, know, you really cannot over collect data. I know data is good because data is like the new goal, isn't it? But if we are going to collect any form of data, we need to ask for consent. And we need to also ask consent for processing of data. And even if we do not sell the data, it's very important that we make known that the, the app company is going to collect and process some of this data for future use. And you know, um, in the new PIPL, the Personal Information Protection Law by China, even there has to be a clear consent for processing of data. And I think maybe, maybe uh, the rest of the world will also follow suit with the compulsory consent for processing. So all you guys out there in fintech, insure tech, or any form of yeah, fintech, any financial kind of tech, be very careful to make sure you get a privacy practitioner in your team to ensure that privacy by design is being implemented from day zero, even before the app is created. So you do not want to have a big issue and have to redesign the entire application all over again. So this is Mark Barnabas, your data protection pal. And remember, be safe, be good. And I've also invented a card game or to educate the public on data protection and privacy. So find out more about Data Heist, the game I created. Find out more and click on the links below. Remember to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you real soon. Take care and be safe.